how to sum up this journey we've taken from Peterloo through to the birth of a democratic Britain. Well, for me, it all had to do with society finally learning. It wasn't just the rich and powerful who had value. We all have value. And to illustrate this point, I wanted to show you this. It's a First World War memorial. It dates from 1919, all right? So that's exactly 100 years after Peterloo. And it lists, by name, every man that died in the trenches from this particular town. Officers, soldiers, it doesn't matter what rank they held. They're all listed here individually. Now, you rewind back to 1819, to Peterloo. Then we'd emerged from a different conflict, the Napoleonic War. Did we build memorials like this to honor the dead? No. We put up statues to the generals that led the troops. The troops themselves, they were just forgotten. They were cannon fodder. This is what I find so moving, the fact that each man here counts as an individual, They're someone's father, someone's husband, someone's son. That's what the marchers at Peterloo were struggling for. That's what the Chartists were struggling for. That's what the suffragettes were struggling for, just the right to be counted. And their struggle dragged Britain into the modern age. Ooh.